If Apple is trying to be Burberry in consumer electronics, Samsung is trying to be um, maybe Lululemon in consumer electronics. They are not trying to be ultra luxurious as Burberry per se, but they are trying to be more youthful and trendy, but still premium. At least, that is the impression I received after visiting the Samsung Gangnam flagship store in South Korea. The only question is, where are the customers? Hello, this is Hong Guan. Thank you for watching. The Samsung Gangnam flagship store, which opened last year in June 2023, is located at the very prime real estate area in Gangnam-gu, South Korea. It's one of the highest values area in the country. Think of it as the Wagyu beef. There is the USDA Select, which is good. There is the USDA Choice, which is better. And there is the USDA Prime, which is the best quality. This area is one step above the USDA Prime. This is the grass-fed Wagyu beef. It's difficult to go somewhere more highly valued and desired than this in terms of commercial location. Speaking of beef, I thought that the Korean beef, Hanu, was excellent. The only problem is, it's bazooka expensive. The best way to get there will be by taking the subway to the Seoul Metro Line number 2, Gangnam Station. The place is literally right by the subway station. Exit the subway station through the exit number 10, walk straight 50 meters or 160 feet, and the place will be on your left. The closer the real estate property is to the nearest subway station, more expensive it is because it's more accessible. This area is generally known as a youthful and trendy place where all the hot-looking boys and girls supposedly like to hang out. For example, there is the Nine Friends flagship store where the Nine group is pushing their own character and entertainment business. There is the noted Donut Cafe where it has been trending on Instagram lately, unlike my rather quiet Instagram account. Maybe you guys can connect with me on Instagram when you guys feel lonely at night before going to bed. And there is the newly opened Apple Store, Gangnam. This was their number 5 Apple Store in Korea, which opened last year as well in March 2023. One of the things I noticed as I entered the store was the lighting. I just thought that they are... Uh, maybe they could bump up the brightness? My local library has better lighting in my opinion. The ceiling display was something new, it was certainly a new approach. My impression of the interior was, I can see that they are trying to be more youthful, trendy, and cheerful to target customers in their late 10s and 20s, especially comparing to the Apple store I visited last time, which you can check out through the video I linked above. In Korea, the Samsung Galaxy brand tends to be associated with the Korean word called Ajoshi. The word translates as a middle-aged man. The word Ajoshi or a middle-aged man typically also carries an image of a working man with a beer or soju belly hanging out, smoking cigarette outside of an office building. He is a salary man or salaryman in Korean pronunciation. He is an office worker on salary with heavy workload and office politics on his plate. His wife is out and about with some other men with more money, and his kid is doing eh, just okay in school. He needs to take cigarette breaks during working hours to keep his stress level under control, and, and during those hours, he needs to answer beeping phone calls and cacao talk messages from work, day and night, on his Samsung Galaxy. That is my understanding of the current image of the Samsung Galaxy brand to exaggerate a little bit. It's certainly not as hip as New Jeans, the Korean K-pop group. My understanding is, Samsung wants to break off from that image and become more favorable among the consumers in their late 10s and 20s. Because right now, apparently, all the cool kids in school have iPhones and if you don't have one or your kid doesn't have one, he or she will be left out because you don't have the blue bubble. I didn't care about that kind of stuff too much when I was growing up though. They had Mercedes and BMWs and I had the school bus built with the military grade steel frame that can go off road.
it was nice to check out their latest cool products like the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 and the Galaxy Z Fold 5. I thought the Z Flip 5 was cute because the screen can fold itself in half and make itself compact for carrying. I initially thought it would be nice to have one until I noticed and experienced two possible issues which all came down to durability. The first issue was the visual damage on the screen. This is what they had for display in the store and there was already like a visible marking or a scratch on the foldable screen, which is expensive to replace as I was informed. You can probably see it through the video. The second issue was the hinge, which is a moving mechanism with parts. Somebody must have dropped it and I noticed it developed a chip on the black paint. This was shot in another Samsung store and it's difficult to share the experience through the video, but I also noticed a play in the hinge mechanism like a loosely connected steering wheel in a car. You would turn the steering wheel a little bit, but the front wheels on the car wouldn't actually turn because there is a play in the steering column. It felt like that. The shaking was just to test the play in the hinge mechanism which was felt through my fingers. The Z Fold 5 was also cool. I liked its big screen when it's opened. I imagine this could be attractive to elderly citizens with bad eyesight or someone who wants to use a smartphone as a tablet. The downside was its weight. It was on the heavier side to carry it around in my pocket. I use my smartphone as an mp3 player when I go out for exercise and I thought that the weight could come as an issue. It certainly felt premium and expensive though. Speaking of which, why is it that both Samsung and Apple don't have the price tags available on the display in their stores? Does the price fluctuate daily depending on its market condition like a wholesale seafood market or, a, or an American car dealership where the price is whatever the dealer says and you have to beat the heck out of the salesman or the saleswoman through words to get the lowest price possible? Maybe somebody can explain it to me through the comment section below because I don't get it. I think it's nice that Samsung makes devices with reusable plastics. Their charging cables tend to last longer than one of their competitors based on my experience. In the basement, they had the Samsung service center with, and something called the city bunker, which was not really my cup of tea, but I guess it was different. I could see that they are trying to capture the younger buyers in their 10s and 20s. On the second floor, they had the display of their previous products back in the day before smartphones became available. This was the time when there was no Instagram, YouTube, MySpace, KakaoTalk, and etc. They also had the Galaxy S series smartphones, A series smartphones, Galaxy Tab tablets, Galaxy Watches, and Galaxy Buds earphones on display. However, as you can see, there wasn't too many people on the floor just a couple of people who seemed like tourists from overseas. On the third floor, there was a section where it sold small accessories and a small cafe with a nice view. I heard from someone that people tend to skip the first floor as well as the second floor and go straight to the third floor to have coffee with a nice view, which could be expensive in Gangnam. I mean, the view was nice. I heard that the coffee is decent as well. The fourth floor was blocked, so I couldn't see what they had going on. This was Hongguan, thank you for watching, and thank you very much for your subscription, I really appreciate it. As always, have a nice day, bye bye.